Tia, I can't do it. Try tofu, you can. I can't. Anyways, it's too high for me and I'm too short. Listen, Tofu. I have a story for you. Would you want to hear it? Sure. The Sour Grapes Once in a forest, there lived a furry fox. He was wandering around the forest in search of food. I am so hungry. I need to eat something. The fox was passing a vineyard but he wasn't aware it was one. I am so hungry that I can't even see what that round thing is. He went a little ahead but stopped as he noticed the smell of the delicious grapes. Wow! There are so many grapes in this vineyard. My mouth is watering. The fox looked at the grapevine and drooled. The fox jumped up towards the grapes. But the grapes were too high for him. He tried and tried, but the effort was futile. He tried again, and this time he was about to touch them, but failed again. Oh, I am so tired. These grapes are too high. I can't reach them at any cost. He sat there and thought for a long time that how he can get those grapes. He suddenly got up and said to himself, Those grapes are probably sour. In fact, I don't like grapes. Why should I try so hard for them? The fox couldn't reach the grapes and hence escaped by making excuses. But his tummy kept growling of hunger and he had to go without eating anything. So Tofu, the fox had to go empty-handed because he just made an excuse. Always remember, you won't achieve your goals if you give up by making excuses. So let's go! And try again. What are you doing, Tofu? I'm trying to water the plants, but this hose is broken. Come, let me tell you a short story. The Clever Crow The Clever Crow
One hot day, a thirsty crow flew all over the fields looking for water. For a long time, he could not find any water. Suddenly, he saw a water jug below the tree. He flew straight down to see if there was any water inside. Yes, he could see some water inside the jug. The crow tried to push his head into the jug. Sadly, he found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. What should I do? I am really thirsty. How do I drink water? Then he tried to push the jug to tilt for the water to flow out, but the jug was too heavy. He looked around and saw some pebbles. He suddenly had a good idea. He started picking up the pebbles one by one, dropping each into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon, it was high enough for the crow to drink. His plan had worked. So, like the clever crow, was able to find a solution to the problem by thinking and working hard, would you be able to find one to this too? Huh? <laughs> Tofu, I think you should help the poor dog. Why, Tia? Wait, I'll explain this to you through a story. The Lion and the Mouse One day, a lion was sleeping in his den. A mouse was also playing nearby. Little mouse began running up and down upon him. This soon wakened the lion. Angry at the little mouse, the lion caught the mouse and said, You little mouse! How dare you wake me? I will kill you! The mouse was frightened and prayed to the lion. Pardon, O oh king. Please do not kill me. I am a little creature. Please let me go and I will do you a good return one day for sparing my life. The lion was rather amused to hear this, thinking, What good can he do to me? But let him go. A few days after, the lion was walking in a jungle. He found himself caught in a hunter's net. He roared and rolled to get out of the net, but he failed. The lion was pleading for help. Help me, help me. The mouse, whose life was saved by the lion, heard the roar and ran to the lion and said, Don't worry, my friend. I will save you. 
The mouse gathered all his friends and told them, We all have to help my friend and set him free. The mouse and his friends cut through the net and set the lion free. The lion escaped and thanked the mouse. And from that day, they became the best of friends. Like the little mouse and lion had become friends and in the end helped each other, you should help this dog too. Because a friend in need is a friend indeed. Bow, bow, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on the